Hey. <coughs> Anybody home? I am live in Instagram right now. Looking forward for your questions. So if you have any questions you want to ask me today, like I try to do on every Friday, I will answer them. Um, hoping you had a good trading day today. I sure did. How's your trading day? If you want to share. Did you trade today? Anybody trade today? Hey, good to see you here. Hold on a second, I'm trying to go live on YouTube too. I hope I just succeeded. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. $222 green. Good job. How the rest of you doing today? How much? Up or down? How much? I'm currently... I had uh, three winning trades today. Actually having uh, another one right now. So probably four. I'm up like $3,300 right now. So I'm having a good day. Approximately like yesterday. I started... Um, I was talking two days ago about... Um, having quite a tough week. I mean, it was quite a tough week. And um, and somehow we turned very green at the end of the day, end of the week. So yesterday and today was great. If you have any questions, things you want to ask me about uh, trading, about anything else, relationship at home with the wife, with the girlfriend, any advice, I'm here. Any questions? That's the time where we answer questions. I see we're live on YouTube too, so those of you who are interested, I'll read both. Yeah, just type up the question and I'm here to answer. What program you have? Uh, we, we at TradeNet, well, let me tell you this. I'm the head trader of TradeNet. Uh, that's not my office, that's my home, you're seeing now. You're seeing my trading room at home. You want me to show that? So here it is, that's my main screens. And I'll go around a little bit. Um, you see these model airplanes on my wall, which is my hobby. <laughs> One of my hobbies. And that's it, I mean... My golf, uh, you see those ones? That's the golf championship I win, won, some, some of them at least. And that's it, I mean, that's my home you're looking at. Uh, so, um, our programs, we have several programs. I'm not here to sell you anything, guys, so come on. Go, to, go on our website, see our programs. But the program starts at $500. So if you're interested in trading with us, it starts with $500. You can get a lot of education for $500 and also a funded trading account which you don't have to risk, where you don't have to risk your own, your own money. So if you're interested in that, just go to tradenet.com or we'll post some links here and we'll be happy to, uh, to answer that. Um, okay, maybe miss some of your question. You want to join our team? Uh, we would love to have you. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for complimenting. Glad you like us. Okay, I'm trying to find out more questions. If you have more questions here. Um, you do have one question. Okay, so when do I get trade? I get scared and I pull out too quickly and I lose out on maybe an extra 15 20 cents. What's your advice on that? Okay, so we have a question here from a person that says that 
When he gets into a trade, he gets scared too easy and pulls out after 15 or 20 cents. First, 15 or 20 cents doesn't mean anything. I mean, it just matters where your stop loss should be. I mean, maybe your stop loss should be at 20 cents and you should move out. But let's assume your stop loss should be at 30 cents. Um, or you pull out from or, or you lose 20 cents. Okay, so let's say uh, your stop loss should be at 30 cents and you lose 20 and you're out. You get scared too easily, as you mentioned. So let me ask you this. How many shares did you go long? How many? Was it, let's say, 400 shares? And let's say you're down 20 cents and you're losing $80 on the trade and that is way too much for you and you can't stand the heat and you're moving out. That's your question, if I understood correctly. Then what would you do if you only had 300 shares? Now let's go down, 200 shares. Now let's go down, 100 shares. So if your behavior would change, if your quantity would be lower, even much lower than what you're used to, the only solution for you is, the solution for you is very, very simple. Just lower your size. Now, I did make a video lesson about what should be your size, and when you are up and ready for it, your trading size should be no less than 400 shares. There's a video lesson I made on that. You can look for that on uh, YouTube. It says, what is your quantity, or one of the reasons people who are losing money are losing it because they don't have enough quantity. So that's an important lesson, and I think you should take a look at that. But uh, basically, if your problem right now, the one that helps you right now, is not being able to take the hit, lower your size. If you're not going to behave the same way with 100 shares, then that's your size for now. So if you walk out with 400 shares, just lower your size. The simplest answer. Simplest way to solve this. Okay, so there's a question here, Anthony. Um, Anthony has a question about our, one of our programs. He says that the expert course would be the best because if you take the $500 one, which is the intro program. Guys, again, I'm not here to sell you something, but let me tell you this. The $500 program that we have comes with a $14,000 account. That's true, Anthony. And that is in... In, not in any way enough for you to become a trader. You cannot become a trader with a $14,000 account when you can only lose $700 from that. There's no way you can become a successful trader with that. Just no way. Okay? So that's why it's called the intro program. It comes with enough education to start with. It comes with a funded account of $14,000, but if anybody thinks he can become a successful trader with a $14,000 account, absolutely not. I have seen people doing it. I have seen people, there's uh, a few guys, I mean, last guys I came across, last successful guy I came across, in the last three months he gained like $15,000, $15,000 he gained from a $14,000 account in three months. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Is it rare? It's very rare. Most people don't succeed with a $14,000 account. So it's a good start. That's why the program is called Intro. So the higher the program, it's more likely for you to succeed. I think the best program is the Pro program. The Pro program costs $9,000. Although I think if you want to get the best chance to succeed, that would be the $9,000 program uh, where you get... Uh, you are eligible to get, I believe, two hundred and forty, two hundred and forty thousand dollar account. That's different. That's that gives you a lot of power, buying power. That gives you a lot of money to work with, and you can definitely succeed with that. So the program would probably be the best. I'll say one more thing: um, if you're thinking you can become a trader without losing money, you're wrong. When I started out, I lost seven thousand five hundred dollars in just a few months, and. I continued losing money. I, I uploaded my account again with another $7,500 and I continued to lose money. So I came, my, 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 the point where I came down was more than $10,000. That's the average I know for most traders that I know. So most traders I know 
end up becoming, once they become winners, it, it, they, they usually go through a losing phase and that usually lasts for anywhere between one to three years. And the number is usually the same, anywhere between $8,000 to $12,000. That would be the average. The average trader would lose between eight to $12,000 until he becomes a winner. If at all he becomes a winner because it is one of the world's toughest jobs and most people don't survive it. So it takes a long, long time to succeed and it takes some money. So if you think you can do that with $500, good luck, but I don't think so. You can join our program with $500. It will give you a good start. It will give you a good education. It will, it will enable you to understand whether you have the chance to become a successful trader. Once you take this program and you trade a $14,000 account, you, you do have the understanding whether you can become a successful trader, whether you like this, this trading at all. I mean, some of you may not be trading today. If you don't, go ahead, have it, jump to the cool water. It's fun. Get education. You will enjoy it. And then you can decide if you want to go to a higher program. Some people start with $500 and they upgrade. You can upgrade. You don't just throw away the $500 if you're not successful enough with that. I'm looking down at your questions. Okay, next questions come from Ben. How many stocks are available via Colmex? I want to trade small caps. Are they available via Colmex? Um, ben, we don't teach to trade small caps. We don't teach to trade penny stocks. I think penny stocks and small caps are not, are not good for your health. I think, in my experience, most people who are trading those stocks are losing money. I don't want to take a part of that. I want my traders to become winners. I don't want them to lose money. We, although you open your own account, you can trade whatever you like. If you trade through Colmex, you can open a CFD account. A CFD account will be restricted. You won't have small caps, but you can open a regular stock account with Colmex. If you open a regular stock account with Colmex, you can trade any stock in the market. You can trade penny stocks, you can trade small caps. If you hear to my advice, don't get there. Don't get there. It's more likely to end in tears. Don't, just don't do that. Please don't do that. I, I can talk for hours now. Why you shouldn't take, trade small caps at all? They are very dangerous. They are very hard to trade. And let, let, let me say a few words about this. When you trade regular stocks, what are regular stocks? Regular stocks would be stocks over $10 with over 1 million shares per day volume. Why? Why, why, why would I call it regular stocks? I would call it regular stocks because... Stocks with over $10 and with 1 million shares per day volume are traded by institutional traders. If you want to become successful, you need to know how institutional traders are trading. You need to do exactly to work according to the rules of the institutional traders. This is what we teach in our courses. We teach our traders to be to understand the way the market works, to understand, to understand the 80% of the volume, because 80% of the volume comes from institutional traders. So I don't care much about the gamblers. I don't care much about traders like us. No, I don't care much. I care about what the big guys are doing. I care what the institutional traders are doing, because they are 80% of the volume. If you want to succeed in the market, you need to know exactly what these guys are trading, how they're trading, and what are the rules. And they do trade according to very specific rules. Now, they only trade stocks over $10 with 1 million shares a day, minimum. If you're trying to take, to trade small caps under $10, which 95% of the institutional traders are not allowed to touch, you're taking a huge risk because your competitors are individual traders. That's why you start competing now with all of the gamblers out there. The gamblers who trade small caps are the ones who are trading small caps because they don't have enough money in their account. Uh, they, can't, uh, uh, they don't get margin from their broker. They don't have enough money. So that would be the people who I would call gamblers. You want to, if you want to experiment trading with them, well, it's hard because you can't expect them to behave in a very specific way. They don't really have rules. So you're going to struggle making money. Can you make money? Yeah, but it's hard. It's not very reliable. You're in, you're in for so many surprises. My best advice for you and to anybody else who's listening to me right now, don't get there. Don't do that. 
trade stocks over $10, be familiar with the rules of the institutional traders, come to us, we'll teach you. And, and just, you, you can become successful trading uh, bigger stocks. Don't go there. I hope I saved some of you guys. Really, seriously, don't do that. We don't teach that. If you want to become stable in your trading, if you want to have reliable trading life, <laughs> I mean, if you want to have some, some kind of real understanding of how the market works, you need to learn the rules of the institutional traders. Okay, I'm looking for more questions. Yes, it's go you know, I'm still open. I have oh, baby. Hold on, I need to take my partial. <laughs> I forgot all about this. <laughs> I just took my partial in SE. Yeah, what a cool ride. What a cool ride. I. I didn't even forget. I, I had my house stop. I had my house stop, but I didn't see um, the way it moved up. So I've got another winner now. It was a very small size, but um, thanks. It was great. Did you guys take it? Any of you? Just uh, for your understanding, if you're not familiar with what we do, I mean, we trade live. Uh, right here, you can see, well, you can't uh, show you. That would be my trading room, you see? Uh, every trade I take is posted here. Everything I do, and not myself only, um, other people, other traders, other analysts like me. So, SE was posted in the trade room. We took it together. We traded it together. So, everything I do, you can do the same, the exact same thing I do. And I think it's very important, especially for people who are just starting out, to have somebody to lead them, somebody to... Um, explain why I'm doing this or that and you can't trade by your own at, at the beginning. When I started out, I started out without any education, which was a huge mistake. And then I joined a trading room, a live trading room, and that what really got me started in understanding really how the market works out. It was <laughs> almost 20 years ago. How did I become, how long did it take? It took me to uh, become consistently profit, tra profitable trader. Well, I just started talking about a little bit about my, my history. Let me uh, explain a little bit more about this. I started trading um, in the year 2000. That's 19 years ago, a bit more. And, and I, I started trading without any knowledge, without any understanding. And then it took me a year, a year to understand that I need education. And that's when I started joining, I joined one trading room and traded with that particular trading room, listened to some of the analysts that were there. And at one point I understood that even from a trading room without education, it's not enough. Well, I could copy, I could do exactly like the other analysts were doing. And I did that. And things were starting to work out for me better. I was still losing money. And I realized that in order to become a profitable trader, I need to learn. So I just, um, I just um, uh, bought a ticket uh, to Phoenix, Arizona, where one of the analysts uh, lived. I decided that this guy is going to become my mentor, and he agreed. And I spent a few weeks at his home and paid $1,500 a day for that, which was, sounds to you, maybe it sounds a bit expensive. It was expensive, but it was probably the best, the best investment I ever made. And that was about a year after I started trading. Six months later, I stopped losing money. And after that, I, I believe after approximately one and a half year, I started making money, although I wasn't really sure that I, I was making money. After two years, I noticed that, yeah, in the last six months, I was actually making some money. Talking about making some money doesn't mean I became a millionaire or anything like that. I mean, after 18 months of trading, I started making less than minimum wage. I was really stopping to lose and started making money, very small size. So I still had a lot of up days, down days, and so on. But uh, my average was, was, was positive, 
And since then, it was just growing. I mean, it still is growing. So it took me 18 months to start making money, but consistently making money, I would say two years. I'm going down to your questions. Uh, if you can join comics from Canada, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe contact Clifton. I think Clifton is here. So I think you can, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can actually can. I think there's just one area in Canada where you cannot uh, join. Um, yeah, I went through this a while ago. Uh, what does it cost? Stratsatuan or something like that? <laughs> one of your areas? I don't know. Small part of Canada. I, I believe you cannot join from there. I can't pronounce his name, excuse me. But you probably know which one I'm talking about. Uh, what kind of equipment I need and what kind of internet connection. Okay, you see me trading right now with four screens. So that's... Um, and over the average computer, I mean, you, you would like to have a computer. It, it, it can be a normal computer. I usually buy gaming computers, which are more expensive. So if you can afford it, go for a gaming computer, okay? One of these gaming fast computers. It comes with, usually comes with a NVIDIA 9000 something uh, video card, which already comes with four screens. And uh, so a gaming computer with four screens, I don't know how much that costs now. It's not too much, but that would be the best. Now, a lot of people are trading with a laptop, which is also okay, and you can do that with, in my opinion, not more than one more screen. So you can start out with your laptop, add one more screen, minimum two screens, minimum two screens, and then you have a laptop with one more screen, you can start with that. But when you decide that this, wants, this becomes your professional, go for this. A gaming computer with four screens, that would be your setup. Things are getting quite cheap these days, so these computers and screens are just, I mean, nothing like when I started out almost 20 years ago. Nothing like that. I mean, when, when, when back then, oh my God, how much it cost. So in internet connection, you know, I, 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 have, um, <laughs> I have three different homes that I live in right now. I live here in Caesarea, I live in Cyprus, and I live in Berlin. So... Um, here I have uh, 100 uh, megabits um, um, connection in Cyprus 150 and in, in Berlin terrible. They just upgraded me from 16 to 25. Unbelievable, terrible internet. But I'm moving to a new apartment now, so I'm probably going to get better there. So with 16 megabits, I'm working quite well. I would be happy with more, but internet connection, if you have 16 megabits or more, that would do. Although, who gets 16 megabits other, other than me in Berlin? Okay, any more questions? How much did I make this week? Um, I started out with one losing day. I think it was just a few hundred dollars, and then I gained a few hundred dollars, so my first... And then I had a 30 day, 30 dollar day or something like that. So my first three days were around around zero, maybe a very small loss. Actually, yes, including commissions, it was rather a small loss. My first three days this week. Last two days, I'm up over six grand. So that paid for my few hundred dollars in commissions, I guess. And, um, and nicely up for the week. Although if you go back last week, Last week, I was at around zero. Also, I mean, the whole week. It was a very hard week. Last, um, last two weeks are very hard. Other than the last two days, I had quite hard last two weeks. Until two days ago, I was complaining. But then came yesterday and today, so everything turned out very green. I don't uh, trade Forex myself. I used to trade Forex, uh, Sean. Um, I used to trade Forex. I didn't do well. Uh, we are teaching in trade and to trade forks. I'm not a forex master, no. So personally, I don't trade forks. I didn't do well in forex, 
but some other guys in our trading room, for example, Michael is doing great, and some more guys. There are some great Forex traders that do very well. I personally like to concentrate on stocks. No, I don't trade futures and Forex and options. Futures and, for, and, and options are, in my opinion, very, very hard to trade. I think there's more, um, there's more potential in trading options. Problem with options, they come with spread. Usually, people usually trade them and there are less liquidity, which is why they come with spread. Uh, so if you, people who usually trade options are people who don't have enough buying power for their stocks. I don't have any issue with that. So, and if you join our programs, you won't have any issue too. But trading options is not an option for me. I don't need that because I have enough buying power. Trading futures, in my opinion, is just not right. I think trading futures is very, very hard. Um, I prefer trading a stock because trading a stock is, stock will always be much more volatile than futures. They, be, they come with a story. They either go up dramatically or go down dramatically. So it's either fear or greed that is working in a great way for me. So I would concentrate on trading. Um, I would concentrate on trading uh, stocks, not futures, not options. Um, although I personally, since uh, I, I have came across, I did come across a lot of people who were uh, uh, who are good option traders, but that would be very hard. It, it's much harder to make money in Forex, in futures, or in options. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. But why should I go there if it's much more easier for me? And I think for everybody. I think for you guys too. I mean, if you concentrate on stocks, you're more likely to make money. See you, Anthony. Thanks for joining. Up $400. Good job. Oh, that's the other side of the problem. Okay, now we have uh, Daniel saying uh, that uh, um, <laughs> he always run away from the stock before it reaches the target. What's my advice? Daniel, it's the same answer I gave earlier. It's the same issue. You see, if you run away from a winning trade, it's the same issue as running too early on a losing trade. Lower your size. Lower your size, you would actually have more chance to make money. You, you know, I found out several times on my trading career that when I lowered my size, I was making more money. For example, 400 shares. When I came up to, when I was trying to move over 400 shares, it took me a few years, I think probably two or three years, to succeed in moving over 400 shares. I was moving from 400 shares to 600, failed, moved back to 400. It took it three times until I succeeded moving over 400 shares. And every time I came back down, I moved up, I was losing money. I came down, I was making money. It's, ex it's exactly the same thing. I was moving too early for a winning trade, too late for a losing trade, and so on. The regular stuff, the regular stuff, lower your size. That's the simplest answer I can give you. You live in Arizona? <laughs> my mentor, my, my mentor, many, many years ago lives there. He still lives there. How did I get to $1,500 a day? I think I'm on average making more than this right now. But you see, the thing is, it just takes time. Guys, it takes time. It takes a long time to get to the point where you're making money when you're making money um, regularly, successfully, and you're still having many, and you will still have a lot of losing days. Guys, I'm just about down here. Sorry, I need to go for two reasons. First, my family is downstairs waiting for me for dinner. It is dinner time here. I don't know where you guys are at, but uh, here right now, Caesarea, Israel, that's 6 uh, p.m. over 6 p.m. now so <laughs> so my family is waiting downstairs waiting for me for dinner and and the second reason which is also very important um i just got in an, uh, a, a message on my iphone that it only has 10 percent uh <laughs> battery <laughs> so i need to go anyway and uh for those of you in youtube i'm, I'm i think we failed again i'm sorry um I was hoping that it's going to be better this time, but uh, somehow 
didn't get there. Okay, have fun. Thank you very much for being here with me today. Have a great, great weekend, everybody. Uh, it was very nice being with you today. Great day in the trading room. If you didn't yet join us, um, our guy is going to post us post you some links here. You can take a free trial and join us for a free trial in our um, live trading room. All join our programs and everything. Thank you again and have a great weekend. And I'll try and see you next week for more questions. I'm sorry I didn't come to all of your questions. We'll answer them next time. Bye, traders.